hey guys welcome to another lesson today we are talking about the division brio fighter which is under the kingdom plantae so let's talk about the characteristics of the organisms found under division brio fighter one is that they are non-vascular multicellular plants which means they do not have vascular bundles so they are non-vascular multicellular plants Another one is that they have chlorophyll, which is their only photosynthetic pigment. So, organisms or plants found under division bryophyta do not have chlorophyll. So, sorry, have organisms under this division have chlorophyll as their only photosynthetic pigment. Unlike the talophytes, which have other pigments that could give them different colors like red, brown, or blue, the bryophytes only have chlorophyll as their photosynthetic pigment. Another one is that they are terrestrial plants that grow in moist environments, environments that are wet and have water, but are terrestrial habitats, like moist soil. So these organisms can grow, grow in moist environments that are terrestrial. Terrestrial meaning land. Another characteristic is that their body is differentiated into stem-like and leaf-like structures, but they do not have true roots, true stems, or true leaves. But the body is separated into stem-like and leaf-like structures, structures that resemble stems or leaves, but they are not true roots or true stems. Another characteristic is that they do not have vascular bundles or vascular tissues, and this means because of this, they are unable to transport food and materials around the body. So they do not have vascular tissues. Another characteristic of the organisms found in a division bryophyta is that they reproduce asexually by means of spores. They reproduce with spores. That is their asexual means of production, reproduction. And their sexual reproduction is done by diffusion of gametes. So their asexual reproduction is by the means of spores. They use spores. And their sexual reproduction is by means of gametes. And that reproduction takes place in water. Another characteristic is that they exhibit what's called alternation of ge generations, which means they can alternate between a dominant generation and a less dominant generation, which is the sporophyte and the gametophyte. With that, we've come to the end of another lesson on division and classification of living things. So, next lesson, we'll be talking about the last division under Kingdom Plantae, which is Division Tracheophyta. See you next class.